Hey guys, welcome to your new home on wheels. Thanks so much for choosing Fabulous Frankie for your adventure, and we can't wait for you to set off. But first, a couple of things about the car. So when you arrive, it'll be parked up. I will have sent you the details. Once you find it, there will be a lockbox under here. Flip down this cover, and then the code down and then the key will be in here please take that off once you're done you just flick that one that way and take it off and then you're in here is your key yeah, there's just the one so please look after it and then coming on inside a little bit of mechanical information uh, this is a petrol car so um, petrol there there's a little reminder that's how you open the flap and then it's here on the driver's side that'll open and then just undo that one just 91 unleaded um, if you have to access the bonnet there's the pull open flap there um, Remember to turn the, the lights off. So the lights are on now. Um, if you left the vehicle like that, then it will flatten the battery. It doesn't make a noise or anything. So check that when you're leaving. Um, the car is 2.2 meters high. So remember that when you're going into shopping centers or whatever. Um, we have a, a toll tag, so you don't need to worry about um, paying for tolls whilst you're on the road if you go through any. However, um, they will be calculated when you get back and charge. Feel free to message me. Um, the stereo is really easy to connect via Bluetooth. You just wait for it to load up. This is a phone holder, so a magnet. If you have a magnet on the back of your phone, and then just look for car kit on your on your Bluetooth settings. Um, so fuel is like for like, so it'll be the same. Please bring it back the same as when you picked it up. Um, I'll send details of what it was when you picked it up so for your reference. And then kilometers is 200 per day. Um, what else? So yeah, please take note of the kilometers when you pick it up. I'll also send you a reference. And then keep an eye on the dashboard for any lights. None of these lights should be on whilst you're driving. So we've got the handbrake on at the moment. And then this little one, this orange one, is the overdrive. So that's this little button here. That's now off. That's how you want it most of the time. The only time you want to press that and have that light on is if you're on mountain roads and you want a bit more control with the engine. That will essentially be like um, changing gears more often. So the, the revs will be higher. So you basically want that off most of the time. So there should be no lights on, on the dash. If you do get any, come on, please pull over and let me know. And then also keep an eye on the, the temperature gauge. Make sure it doesn't go above there, above halfway. Um, and that's pretty much it. Nice and easy automatic. Very easy to drive. You don't really need to worry about 2 or L. Just put it in drive and away you go. So coming into the back, we'll do a bit of a walk around and show you what there is. In this door, you have the electrical system. So down here, you have your charging ports and cables. There's an extra there and another thing in the front you can use. And um, we've got two torches. They're both the same. One's bigger than the other. Turn it on. Is that one there. You get a torch. Press it again. You get a, a bar. Press it again. You get a nice orange light. If you hold it down, it also gets dimmer nice at night time and then also it's magnetic so you can just magnet it to the car They're really good for outside there's two so you can have like one in the tent and one outside they just charge up the cable is included please make sure those cables come back and you've got a table there you've got the esky coming around to the back you've got a bag for whatever you like i put um, my wet stuff in good for surfing and then here you've got the, the water tank that'll be full up and then we've got the drawers so the top one just give the drawer a push before you pull that one and then here you've got your, your sort of pantry. You've got some stuff for you guys to use. Fire extinguisher, fire blanket, some safety stuff, picnic table, all sorts of stuff back there. That's the sink. You've got a spare gas for the cooker in there, some mosquito stuff. There's your towels. Give this one a slam. And then this one is your kitchen. So you lift that one out. It clips on the front of the drawer. And then you've got all your cooking stuff there. Um, I'll let you go through all of that. You'll work that one out. And then this door, we have the chairs. These are part of the roof tent. I'll show you that shortly. Uh, that is all your bedding in there. So there's pillows, two flat sheets, one for the bottom, one to be under, and then a throw to go on top. And then, yeah, let's go through the, the roof tent. Here is your surfboard. I managed to find a nice 511 for you. So happy days, I think it's 31 liters. Nice board. So you'll have to take that off first to get to the roof tent. So we've got two rubber straps here. And just tuck your head underneath and you just unhook them here from this little eyelet hook. Just two of those, same place as we were for the lockbox, you just take that off. Take the strap off completely. Put those to one side. And then you can just take the surfboard off. Pop it down there. And then you want to take these two straps off. I'll do that with two hands and then start again. With the two straps undone, now you go to the passenger side and there is a zip that you have to undo all the way around. So just here. Under the Velcro, you find this zip. Start unzipping, go all the way around. To undo the zip, it makes it a lot easier to flip up the corners. Like that. And once the zip is undone, here at the back left corner, you go back to this side, and then just pull off the cover. This side. Just like that, unhook the two corners. Bear with me. <laughs> Sorry about the dodgy video. And then, Pull it over. 
and it'll look something like that. Now, we come back to this side, and we undo this strap, just press for this one, like so. And then this one is like the first two. I'm going to need two hands for this one. There's a Velcro, and then you unstrap that. There we go. Once you got those two straps off, open the back door, and then stand on here. Please don't stand on here, otherwise it'll bend. I've had that before. You jump up here, and then you're going to push from this corner, and I'm just going to flip over that way. And you can just let it flip on its own. And there you go, it's open. Just like that. And then, once it's open, if you want to have a look here underneath, so you see how the, some of the mattress has come through, you just push up and give it a poke. Very difficult to do with two hands, but um, yeah, poke it back in. So it looks like that. There we go, you can't see the mattress anymore. And then you also want to lift up until it locks in. It actually sits in a little slot like that. And then you can open up the ladder. So undo the, the big one, just like that. And then you just let them come down and they'll click into place. The ladder should be the perfect length once all of these are clicked. And then you're ready to go up. And there's your tent. If you're just staying somewhere quickly and you want to set up and pack up really quickly, you can just use it like, like this. Or this is also uh, an annex or an awning. And you'll need to put up this bar here. So there's a bar that slides out. Just pull either side. And then, over here, there is a little foot and a hole, and then this is going to go into there, like that. Same the other side, pull that one out, flip that one over. You might have to push this bar into the, up into the corner there, like that. Yeah, there we go. And then slots in there like that. Do the same on the other side, push it into the corner. And there you go, you have the, the cover, which keeps you dry when you have the door open. Uh, there's two strings that hang down. I put those under the ladder, so there's a perfect hole. You lift the ladder, and then just put that under the foot, and that will hold the, the annex down, and then you're in. And you've got plenty of windows, all adjustable. Um, remove, you can remove this string, so that's just a little elastic bungee, you can un unclip that. It just helps to pull the canvas in when you're packing it up. And then, yeah, like I say, you've got bedding, you've got a flat sheet. Please put the flat sheet down on the mattress before sleeping on the mattress, helps to keep the mattress clean. Um, and then I'll show you how the, the window poles work. So if you want to open the windows, it's got lots on this thing. You've got one there, one here, and one around this side. You need the poles, the metal poles. So in the side door with the chairs, in here we'll grab those. You can either leave the cover like this, or you can simply slide it out like that and it makes the car much easier to access and then of course to go back in you just feed this little bit back into that slot there I won't do that now you work that one out you can tuck these up in here and then you can get to the door and then grab these there's six of these grab one of those excuse me and then to hold the windows open, hook this end into one of the holes and then here you'll find a little slot and then in there there's a hole and then this end is going to go into that hole like that and that can hold all your windows open so each window has two of those, there's another one here, you can just undo that and then you can put the other one up and you get lots of airflow and that's the roof tent. So to pack it all up, you just do the same. Take the poles out, unhook the ropes, put the annex back down. Um, you can leave some of the bedding inside, um, but the pillows have to come out and then put the ladder back up. So to put the ladder back up, you have to push these things that way. So there's two, you have to do it at the same time. One and one. <laughs> and then just like that. So you do all of those and then just use the strap. So once the annex is down and the ladder is up and the strap is on, you simply just lift up from the ladder and push it over and you can finish pushing it with your hand until it flips all the way over. And then you just come around, stuff all the uh, extra in the side here 
put the two straps back on, pull it down and make them nice and tight and then chuck the cover back over the top and just like we undid it, you just put it back on, put the two straps back on and that's it. So with the cover back on and the zip all the way done up and then these two straps done up, very important, you're good to go. You can put the surfboard back on, on those two hooks there and away you go, that's the uh, tent setup. And that's it guys, that's Fabulous Frankie. Thank you very much. And um, just to recap, so your responsibilities, please bring it back with the same amount of fuel. Um, cleaning, please bring it back in a similar state, so uh, have a little clean out. Uh, make sure you inspect it when you pick it up, take a picture of any, any damage um, and the condition that it's in. Any toll roads that you go through, you'll be charged on your return. And that's it, I'll send you a confirmation of all of those details and then you have my number. If you need me, please feel free to contact me and have fun, have a great adventure. Thanks so much.